I have been obsessed with treasure ever since I was a boy, and one particular treasure has always stuck with me. The national treasure. A treasure worth 10 billion dollars. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of booty. Not that booty, this booty. I remember watching the most amazing documentary about how treasure hunter Nicholas Kim K tried everything he could to find it, but ultimately failed. But today, I'm gonna find it. And why do I need all that money? Well, I wanna be the next Mr. Beast. So, Jimmy, what do I need to do to be the next you? Just throw money at things. Like how much money are we talking? Probably at least a couple million a video. So, can I actually find what Benjamin couldn't all those years ago? My journey begins in Washington, D.C. Well, no, it, it actually starts in New York because, uh, well, I couldn't afford a nonstop ticket. And it was especially annoying as there's definitely no treasure here because one of the eight million people crammed in this city would have most definitely stumbled across it by now. But here's the thing, I haven't seen the National Treasure documentary in approximately 10 years. And it's $5 to rent on Amazon. I spent all my money coming here to DC, but I have pretty good memory. If my memory serves me correct, this is the White House. <laughs> I know, it's pretty impressive. And also, I'm pretty sure there's a map on the back of the Declaration of Independence that will lead us exactly to the National Treasure, which will make me a billionaire and become the next Miss. Sorry, it's one of those cheap batteries from Amazon. Anyways, first thing I buy is a new battery when we get to be a billionaire. Now wait, where was I? Oh yeah, steal the declaration. And if my memory serves me right, in the documentary National Treasure, the first thing Nick Cage does is head to the FBI building to warn them that someone is going to steal Back the Declaration bag, of Independence. Which means I need to look good. Conscious. Like, really good. Ice. Otherwise, these guys aren't going to take me seriously. Back in my bag and, I gotta brag, I and after acquiring a suit fit for a king, I marched right to down to the FBI man. building to do my duty and tell them that someone is well. actually Actually going to be attempting to steal the Declaration of Independence. Wait, I'm gonna try and steal it. Uh, this was a bad idea. My next step was to get help, and who better than the sitting president of the United States of America? But unfortunately, they locked the gate, and Joe forgot to put the key under the mat. So I gave my boy Joe a quick call to see if he's down for an adventure. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Apparently, he was too busy writing an extremely important speech. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, him, uh, foot, foot excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. We'll do this solo. Let's go find this treasure. And after realizing that Joe has far better things to do, like eating, pudding, and taking a nap, I began finalizing my plan to actually getting the declaration, which will lead me straight to the national treasure. The only problem is, I'm now super paranoid because there are more cameras here in DC than there are on the set of Squid Games. I can't help but think that I'm being watched, which means I have to be extremely careful. The declaration is housed in the National Archives Museum and is under very intense surveillance. According to my friend Google, this age-old document is in a glass and metal encasement that's several inches thick, making it almost impossible to steal. I, I, I mean, borrow. Which, uh, well, <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem for me. Got it! Dang, those stairs are long. I actually did it. I stole, I, I mean borrowed, the Declaration of Independence. And I was for sure gonna keep my mouth shut. I mean, I can't let Nick Cage down. I have to keep this document extremely safe. And most importantly, top secret. Declaration, I got it. Oh, the next Nicholas Cage. Pretty much. According to my boy Nick Cage, the map is on the back of the document, and you guessed it, it's invisible. I had to find a few tools to help me reveal the map, which were easily acquired at my favorite store, Walgreens. Got my juice, I got my decky. Let's go find some clues. And after nicely clearing my desk, it was time to find the map. All right, my memory serves me correct. In the documentary, on the back, of the Declaration of Independence, there's a map. There's only one problem. I took the wrong document. This isn't the Declaration of Independence. It's the Constitution! Well, we don't need that. As you can see, there is no map. That's because it's a secret map. Okay? Now, I'm pretty sure in the documentary, they use an orange to reveal the map. Okay, I don't have an orange, but I do have the next best thing, orange juice. Let's do this. I have to be extremely delicate because this is clearly a real document. I don't want to ruin it because history and all of that. So, just do a little tiny bit of juice. Oh gosh, oh sweet mother of God. Um, uh, let's spread it around a little bit. Just a little, it's just wet. <laughs> Pretty sure I just ruined the Declaration of Independence. I mean, 
Constitution. I may have ruined the Constitution, but at this point, there's no going back. The only option is to absolutely smother this thing to find out the next clue. Also, this stuff is kind of amazing. Oh, gosh. It's kind of good. And right when I thought I had ruined the plan, I found it. Souvenir. It's a clue. That's right. I found our next clue. Souvenir. I honestly don't know what that word means. And after a bit of research, I discovered that it's a French word, but I don't speak French. I can't let Nick Cage down, so I headed straight to the library to find our next clue. That's right. The Library of Congress. The largest library in the world. There's going to be a clue. It's going to be here because it's the home of more than 173 million items. Lucky for me, they had the long lost book I was looking for, Merriam Webster's Diary, which is going to lead us straight to the next clue. Act of remembering, souvenir to remember. And upon searching for the meaning of the word souvenir, I had found it. I think, I think it's a code. First line, fourth word, second letter. A, eighth line, sixth word, fifth letter. B, E, Abe, Abe. That was it. I needed to visit the Lincoln Memorial. My final clue, everything has led me to this moment. I knew that whatever I would find with Abe was going to bring me straight to the national treasure and finally make me the next Mr. Beast. Oh, it's Derek. Oh my gosh, hey, Abe. Ah! <laughs> My entire life has led me straight to this moment. It's just right up there. I was in Abe's office and I began my search. I was in awe of this life-size replica of Lincoln. The secret lies with Abe, just don't know what it is yet. There was bound to be clues hidden all over his office, but with so many people around, I was having difficulty finding anything. There's no way that the treasure even exists anymore. There's too many people around. Somebody for sure found it. That guy probably found it, honestly. Probably never gonna be the next Mr. Beast. Guy with no money, no things. What the? Five dollars! Five dollars is all I needed to watch the documentary. Wait, maybe there's a clue in the documentary. This is what I need. This is what I needed. I need to go, I need to go. I had everything I needed. Five whole dollars. Now I can read the national treasure and decipher the clues that Nick Cage has laid out. My entire life has led me to this moment. I'm so close to finally finding the national treasure and becoming the next Mr. Beast. <sighs> but that was until... The map said here at the wall, spelled with two E's. Wall Street follows the path of an actual wall. Wall Street was in New York this whole time? That's right. I may not have found the national treasure, but what I did find was potentially of much greater value. Yep, <sighs> didn't find the treasure. <laughs> I am definitely not gonna be the next Mr. Beast. But you know what, it's okay. In fact, I'm excited about not being the next Mr. Beast. Because I'm gonna be the next